This video is brought to you by my awesome sponsors. Make sure to check out the affiliate links in the description below. Thanks again for all the support. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to Gran Turismo 7's Super License Test S8. And um, so much for a scouting lap. <laughs> Of course, we are in the Pagani Zonda R. Oh, it's been a long time since I've driven this car. Of course, we are on Interlagos. I'm not going to say it's my favorite F1 track, but damn, is it good. So first lap so far, obviously we're sucking. Like there's, there's no question about it. Because, again, I have not driven this car on this track before, so breaking points and all the rest of that are kind of foreign to me right now. Can we do it? Can we do it? For a scouting lap, not bad. I don't... I know I have some... Obviously, I have something to improve, but I figured that I wasn't going to be that far off of silver at that rate. Yeah, we could probably start the uh, montage of crazy fails right about now. Wow, almost there. Yeah, I saw when he broke. I broke way too late. <laughs> nice. Silver. Dropped a little bit. That's nice. Gear too low there. Crap. Yep. Throw it out here. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh. <laughs> That's so stupid. This is so easy. It's going to make comment to those keen eyed viewers that see the foot cam is back, which is great. But I am missing slippers uh, in the past three months I've gone through three pairs of slippers so if anybody has any recommendations for slippers or indoor footwear that don't disintegrate after a month I would love to hear about it I believe moccasins actually are a highly rated brand and I had actually attempted to score a sponsorship with them and they just flat out dined it which I don't blame them so, yeah, if anybody's got any uh, good recommendations, please let me know in the comments section down below. Please, 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 because my feet have a tendency to run cold. But if anything else, it just feels like that I'm sitting way too far back in the seating position. Yeah, here's the second that I'm losing. Yeah. I feel like I'm just, I'm like a child in like a driver's chair where it's, my feet aren't quite getting to the pedals so i try to break later screw it come on there we go get the foot flat and there we go doesn't feel any better than usual touch the inside apex perfect that's pretty good touch the apex again nice gonna break at the hunted marker and eh, slightly before just tap the brake to understeer well, oversteer a little bit down the first gear Tears the sliding, up to the second, brake again. Trying to keep some power through, there we go. Now this one's weird. Ooh, there we go. So it's like you get into fourth just for a moment. And you can go back down the first. I don't know. Yeah, I don't need to go down to first there. I probably lost a couple of tenths off of that. One twenty-six here feels all right. Yeah, it's not world record. Ah, it's 
not better than the best that I've already had? That's weird. That was a good layout. <laughs> yes, let me overtake uh, the track completely. Slowly at the power. Break. <sighs> Screw that. I broke way too early on that part. Oh, my favorite corner. Ah! <sighs> now the second gear push through. I think I need to unlock the wheel a little bit sooner. Yeah, I saw that coming. <laughs> nope. No, we're we're not trying that again. <laughs> I break too early and then I coast to the corner. Yeah, it wasn't uh, wasn't a good lap. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, then let me keep that one. Not full power. Yeah, there we go. Through that uh, third corner, is they able to do like 75% power? Seemed all right. That third, I think it, my wheel is still locked a little bit too much, so I couldn't get all the power down that I wanted. There we go. That's all right. Off the power, back on again. I don't know if I have the grip to just keep on the power the entire way down. I don't think this is a gold. I think it's going to be close, though. So. Oh, especially with that. I don't know, 133.2? <laughs> oh, that That only felt like I did like 25 tries here. That was actually pretty decent. Uh I want to give it one more go. Because that that last part again, I don't know. Didn't feel quite perfect enough if that makes sense. Yeah, still losing time on that first chicane. I don't know how I got to that first, that last time. Trying not to lock the wheel so much. Yeah, that's better. Then at the hundred. Ah, too early. Broke too early there again. Can I do full power? No, 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 no. I don't think I'm getting a better time. If I... If I got that first chicane right, I think the rest of the course is going to be all right from there. Nope. It's still a gold, but yeah, I, I don't know how I got a 131.3. So, woohoo. <laughs> uh, well, that was our gold medal time with a 131. 351. If you enjoy this content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I've got two more, two more license tests to do 
the uh, S9, which is one of the Nissan GTRs on Deep Forest Raceway, and then ultimately the infamous Porsche 917K on Spa Frankershop in drying conditions after a rainstorm. So again, if you like this content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We've got a lot more of this kind of stuff coming up. But of course, uh, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.